I am fine too as you can see guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back thank you for always supporting me if you're a returning subscriber but if you're new here you are welcome please do not leave this channel without subscribing subscribe and when you subscribe remember to click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video and guys I've seen our family is growing something that is very good and it makes me so happy so this is for new subscribers I'm going to introduce myself a little bit so that you get to know me a bit <laughs> I'm an African lady from Tanzania East Africa I am married to an Italian I've been living here in Italy for four years that is why you'll find a little bit of Italian arguments and we have one baby girl that's it but if you want to know me more I have the whole video of where I talked about myself <laughs> so you get to know me more go and watch that video if you're interested <laughs> so back to our today's video if you want to know someone is Italian just look at the hands when talking Italians use their hands a lot when they talk in fact they can talk with only hand gestures and understand each other <laughs> so that is going to be our video of today I'm going to be showing you Italian hand gestures and what they mean let us start our video right away if you see an Italian doing this sign this sign they call it corner <laughs> but it means your wife is betraying you or your wife is sleeping with another guy say un cornuto <laughs> it's not good for men <laughs> you see my hand from down say un cupazzo this side guys means that you can be easily manipulated like a doll come una bambola <laughs> you think I care? I don't care <laughs> it is so funny guys so this hand gesture means I don't care fight to talk a whole do whatever you want cause I don't care <laughs> so when an Italian <laughs> does this you know that he does not or she does not care at all <laughs> so let's say you are in a far distance and an Italian wants to call you he or she will just do Vieni qua. <laughs> we imagine maybe you're somewhere and someone is trying to tell lies what will an Italian do by using hand gestures <laughs> he will do cosa stai dicendo <laughs> what are you saying <laughs> why are you trying to tell lies not like this because when you do like this means you want to eat <laughs> but when you do this <laughs> when an italian does this means what are you saying why are you telling lies <laughs> cosa stai dicendo <laughs> Oh, cosa sta dicendo questa? <laughs> I want to give you a bit of a story <laughs> about this hand gesture. What are you saying? What are you trying to tell us? Huh? <laughs> we're talking with my brother-in-law this summer when we were in Sicily uh, before we went to take a horse ride. So he told us this story that was very funny. <laughs> he told us that uh, you know these men who ride the horse they take tourists to different tourist sites so one of those men took Chinese tourists to one of the oldest church there and when they arrived this man was telling the tourists like ha ah, look at our cathedral it's beautiful <laughs> then my brother-in-law was passing us 
stai dicendo? Questa è un chiesa, non è una cattedrale. <laughs> That what are you trying to say? This is an old church. It's not a cathedral. <laughs> so this hand gesture means what are you trying to tell us or what are you trying to say? Stop lying. <laughs> but also when an Italian does <laughs> means that you are lying to me. <laughs> Pinocchio. If you remember Pinocchio cartoon <laughs> had a long nose because <laughs> Whenever he could lie, the nose could grow. So when you are lying to an Italian, he will just or she will just do. You are lying to me. I got you. You are lying to me. Or you are trying to lie to me. <laughs> oh, I was just lying to you. <laughs> he can tell you a story and when it ends, he tells you, it's a lie. <laughs> This hand gesture, guys, I always argue with my husband. <laughs> How Italians count number three. <laughs> so for me, I would count number three like three, right? Or I'll do three. But Italians will do tre. Three. <laughs> my fingers are even paining for doing this hand gesture. Tre. <laughs> Can you try this, guys? Try it and tell me if your hands, if your fingers won't pain, because my fingers are paining. <laughs> Numero tre. Number three. <laughs> when I do this, my husband says, oh, mi fa morire. I can't look at you. It makes me so irritated. You can't do this. It's done this way. <laughs> the following is just a gesture, not a hand gesture. And it is more used in the South Italy, the Sicily part. So when someone from that area or from that part <laughs> tells you no, or you ask her or him something and he wants to say no without talking, he or she will just do. <laughs> Is your girlfriend coming today? <laughs> do you feel like going out? No, means no or I don't know. This one is used mostly when there is football. <laughs> when you see an Italian doing this. <laughs> so this one means I defeated you. It's me who won. <laughs> You think you could win? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are scared, eh? You are scared. <laughs> when an Italian does this means, oh, you are scared. Hai <laughs> paura, eh? <laughs> you are scared, eh? Let's imagine an Italian family has invited you over for lunch and the food is delicious. So you want to give this message to Italians or to this family that has invited you that the food is delicious. So you're going to do <laughs> the food is yummy <laughs> like you're kissing your fingers but there is another way you can use your hand gestures to tell them that the food is yummy, it's delicious. Let's hear from my daughter because she likes this hand gesture. Ciao. Ciao. Come si fa buono? Buono. <laughs> so here, let's imagine you have an Italian boyfriend and maybe you went to an Italian opera and when it ends, you want to tell your boyfriend that it was perfect. What are you going to do using your hand gestures? <laughs> you will do perfect. It was perfect or perfetto. Hmm. <laughs> like you're pulling. <laughs> perfetto. <laughs> you are about to go out and your phone rings. <laughs> and maybe your partner or the person you are with is Italian and wants to tell you that hurry up, 
do it fast, we'll do. It's brigati. <laughs> Talk fast, we need to go. <laughs> that girl is talking too much. Parli troppo. Parla troppo, parli troppo. This hand gesture means you are talking too much. It's too much. You're talking a lot. <laughs> parli troppo. <laughs> This hand gesture, my husband uses it when Sophie starts to cry for toys when we go shopping. Non ce l'ho. Non ce l'ho soldi. I don't have money. <laughs> non ce <c> soldi. <laughs> this hand gesture means non ce soldi. Non ce l'ho. I'm sorry, I don't have money. <laughs> Are you crazy? Are you crazy? <laughs> Say pazza. You are crazy. <laughs> so when an Italian <laughs> wants to say that you are crazy by just using hand gestures, he will just or she will just do. Are you crazy? Of course I'm not. <laughs> This hand gesture means calm down. Con calma. Piano, piano. <laughs> slowly, slowly, con calma. Calm down. Calmati. <laughs> Go away. Vatene via. Go away. Vatene via. I think they are together. Maybe they are dating. They are together. They are working together. They are together in this. This hand gesture means together. This, then you join them together. <laughs> this hand gesture is used mostly <laughs> by men <laughs> because it talks about men. <laughs> And when an Italian man is angry <laughs> or when he can't take it anymore, <laughs> he will do. <laughs> you have broken my. <laughs> this hand gesture means run. Run, run, run. <laughs> Oh, let's go guys. Andiamo ragazzi. If you are in an Italian market or an Italian store and you want to ask how much they sell something, you can do quanto costa. This hand gesture means how much? How much does it cost? If an Italian eats food and doesn't like it, it wasn't delicious, he or she will do. Do not digest it. It remained here. Or if an Italian doesn't like someone, <laughs> we'll just do. <laughs> Unlike me, I'll do things have reached here. I can't take it anymore. I don't like this person. She has all he has reached me here. An Italian will do. This hand gesture is more used by Italian parents to their kids, the younger ones. When he does this or when she does this, you know that you are in trouble, boy or girl. You are in trouble. Stop what you're doing. I will finish you. <laughs> but when an Italian parent want to tell the kid that I will hit you. As much as Italians have got rude, funny hand gestures, they've got the hum ones. Like this one is my favorite. Ti prego, per favore, mi raccomando. I beg you, please, forgive me, please forgive me. I beg you, thank you. Yeah. It's so good. I like it. 
So you're doing something and an Italian wants to tell you stop. He or she will just do basta. Stop it. And I'm going to stop here. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I really appreciate much. God bless you. So if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think is going to enjoy this video and make his day or her day like you did. I hope it made your day. <laughs> Comment below what you think about this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you so much. You are always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao.